Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Bum ba dum ba dum. I need my ute. We've got some fertilizing to do, and then we've got some sowing. Oh, it looks like we've got a bit of weed spraying to do as well. Judging from that, might actually go down there for a quick look. There is game mods. What do you, what do you mean? Ugh, weeds. All right. So that's something to to do. One of many thousand things to do on the farm today. And that is a power pole. Hey Dan. This red trailer here needs moving. It's literally in the way of everything. Actually, speaking of that red trailer. We might as well just put it on the ute. That's what I think. And I think it's got fertilizer on it, which is what I want. I want the fertilizer, you know? So, we will go and grab, I don't know whether we take the big Massey or the, the big John Deere. Decisions, you know? Uh, it is a Domino's app, you know, it's, it's, we're stuck on the wall, okay. This, this, this yard is very tight. Um, you know, the Domino's app is very important, you know. It is very, very important that we have that. That is a very tight turn, that one. We're stuck again, okay, this is... Put it in four-wheel drive and we just hope for the best, okay? It's not even stuck, like, okay. And then it just, all of a sudden, just lets go and we go flying. That's, that's perfect, you know? It is, Jason. It's a very nice pickup. The Seasons mod has put some, some metal wear on it, but that is what it is. It's not even hitting some of these, like, fences. The hitbox on that trailer is a little interesting. If I'm being honest. Alright, finally go back to first person. And then what else that what other apps have we got? We've got Spotify, Heart Ratio. Or is that Heart Radio? I can't make that out. I don't know. And now I'm not watching where I'm going. We'll just get back to driving, I think. You know? on the wrong side of the road because this is another sharp turn good thing there's no traffic Domino's Pizza, yep I must say I'm a big fan of Domino's to be honest even in real life so that suits me you know we made that corner easily um, the spreader is there I can take all those straps off because I need that fertilizer anyway. Yo, Hanzo, thanks for the gift sub to Dan. Thank you, buddy. You did not have to do that. I have to park that there because I will need a. You expect some. To There's no toxic farming. Oh, and the. Thingy me jiggy's working now. It's actually doing that, okay. For some reason that stuff wasn't working yesterday, so that's good that it's working now. You, I mean, I can farm toxically, but this is the one place I come to be non-toxic, you know? Jason with a subscription of three months in a row. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the subs. Thanks, guys. Uh, which tractor? 
This is... I come here to be nice, so there's no toxicity on the farm. Unless Jeremy gets on, then I'll be toxic. I know toxicity is in my bones, but this is my, my happy place. Okay? There might be some toxicity la later, though. This is the new John Deere that I brought. She is a beast. And you wouldn't actually believe it, but this Massey is actually bigger than that. It has more horsepower. I think we'll take the Johnny. Because no one else has said anything, you know? Actually, we, we will be toxic, okay? We actually do have some toxic stuff to do. Because, um... I have to go and spray the weeds, so I mean, that's toxic, right? And it's also 10 o'clock in the morning, it's too, it's too early to be toxic, unless I was actually at work. I'd be toxic if I, if I was at work. I hate, I hate some of the people there, you know? No, that's not what I wanted. That one. There we go. How much fertilizer have we got? Oh, we pretty much got a full. We should be good, actually. We should be good for fur. Okay, I'm just going to be honest, I think I'm going to put it on the Massey because this thing with dual wheels just looks too big. But this thing's just too big. We, we need a smaller tractor, you know? And the Massey's bigger, but it's, it doesn't have the jewels. We'll put it back in the shed. Right, am I stuck? No. Nope. Yeah, they do both look good, Dan. There's some new sub emotes and stuff to come to, hopefully next week. Some new stream stuff, so that'll be exciting. Yeah, your hands are, I know, you gotta get shit done, exactly. It's the weekend, you know? Thanks for the gift sub and the resub, buddy. Have a good Saturday. Alright, some farm work to do. So Seasons has kind of caused some grief on the farm. Um, some things haven't worked and been a few issues so I had to re-sow and I had to plow some grass paddocks and then re-sow them and it's kind of where we're at now and then the temperature is finally good enough to actually sow some some other crops so there's a little bit to do today a bit to do and not enough time you know just like real life is that silage fermented We need to know, you know? It is fermented. Perfect. We don't need to open it though, because we have like a thousand silage bales, and that rake needs moving. Whoever put that there is an idiot. What time is it for you, Dan? It'll be like, what, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning? For you? It's 8.21. Oh, okay. And I only just realised that Johanzo gifted Jason the sub. I thought Jason subbed by himself. So, Johanzo is a very, very nice person.
Are you working today, Dan? No, okay. No, me either. Thankfully as well. I ain't got time for that, you know. Just no. It's just a no from me. I don't see any weeds in this paddock, but I think I'll still spray it just in case. I realistically probably wouldn't put fertilizer on it and spray it at the same time, but I'm kind of rushing to do this and it's going to be a little unlegit because um, Seasons kind of stuffed me up a little bit. So thank you Seasons. Thanks for the great mod, but thanks for stuffing me up at the same time. Hey Amber, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. So as long as the ground temperature stays at 5 degrees, we should be able to plant some crops as well, but it's, it depends. We'll fertilise the weeds as well. We want more of them. What are you up to, Amber? That camera view is a little too high for me. I do like the weeds though in seasons, how they don't just grow in the whole paddock, they kind of just, you know, in a couple of little spots like that, that's really cool. Hey Vash. Hey Vash, I was still having, having that real bad stutter when I got on the server this morning, so I've restarted it and it's been fine since, so maybe that's all it needed was just to restart, dude. Because I have not had any issues since, and the frames have been a lot better too. So... So I think that's all it was. Um, and another thing, Vash, I planted this grass paddock two in two and a half in game days ago, and it's still not fully grown. So I think plowing, plowing and re-sowing the grass probably is the um, way to go for our issues that we were having. And I have more realistic weeds growing too since I've done it. Which is good. Good, good, good. You know?
Yeah, the ground temp's 5 degrees at the moment, so... I've sped it up about 3 in game days, though, to get it to mid-spring and stuff. Just because I wanted to test the grass, but I'm seeing more real realism and it's looking a lot better than it was anyway, so I haven't mowed it or anything because it's taken a long time to grow, which is good because it's more realistic, but... But I, I think it should be fine now. So I'll probably rip up the rest of my grass paddocks as well at some stage. And just re-sow them all. We might just weed spray everything, maybe. Even the paddocks that are older. Currently out on the run, are you, Vash? So that's the fertilizing done. We'll go and do some spraying. I don't know how much herbicide we have. I don't even know if we have any, to be honest. I guess we're about to find out. We'll probably just use the Massey for the spraying as well. And then we'll take the John Deere and do some sowing. Possibly. I think some paddocks are cultivated. I'll have to check. Oh, nice, Vash. Um, yeah, I don't know why. He's he's told me he sold them and that the noob farm could have them. Um, but it's a long way for the noob farm and I doubt they'll want them anyway because they have plenty of panics. But um, I don't know why they're acting out that way either because they're just constantly growing weeds. I can't remember if he said he actually ploughed them or anything though either. So we have 1,100 litres of herbicide. I don't know. Oh, we got two tanks in there. I can see them from here. So that'll work. That will work perfectly. A little bit of a shocking reverse job there. Connect our power bit of hose and just pour it in there with a bit of luck. Should reach. How far can we go back? I don't want to hit that shelf. We might have to pull them out. Might have to go and get another tractor with a front end loader. Even going side on might help actually. Yeah, 
Have, we'll go and grab the Massey, the other Massey. Why are we stuck? We'll go and grab the Massey Ferguson front loader. from under that shelf. Acceleration in this thing is a little, a little interesting. We'll just park right there. Please start the engine. Alright. Put that in uh, forwards. I believe these are 2,000 or 3,000. I think they're 3,000 litre tanks. I could be wrong, they're probably two. If we go pretty low to the ground, we should be right. Well, this one's already missing some. put that close enough surely there we go probably fit some more out of that other tank in there as well Should be enough, hopefully. Brandon, almost a year. Jeez, that's gone quick. Thanks for the resub, bud. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you on the farm soon. We're probably only going to fit a thousand litres of this tank in there, maybe. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, it's just a nice relaxing game, Dan. That's why I don't really get on here and be toxic. Like, it's more my just chill kind of game, to be honest. I'm toxic enough on Siege and um, 5M. Alright, so we've got 43.80 litres in this tank. We should be... Still got 1,500 in the front end loader. We'll leave this here in case we need it. 
we'll leave it on the tractor. Because we might need more. But we will head out and start doing some spraying. Which shouldn't take long. That thing's this spray unit's pretty big. It's a pretty big spray wreck. Um, Brandon, if you are there, I'm assuming you are because you resubbed, but I went and fed your cows because I've sped it up about three in-game days. So, I gave them a little bit of food because I didn't want them to die. It's a very relaxing game. Bash, I didn't worry about looking at your sheep because I figured they'd be fine because I think you said you haven't fed them since we put seasons in. Yeah, they were out of straw and they only had like a couple hundred litres of hay left. Actually, no, they had no hay so I gave them hay. No, I didn't check your sheep. I figured that they would be just A-OK, -okay, you know. They're like the toughest animal that we have on this map, it would appear. This isn't going to take long. This spray wreck is pretty much as wide as this whole paddock. <laughs> yeah, they haven't needed it. I mean, I can check now. I mean, I can... Go to your farm and have a look. No, nope, they've still got... <laughs> they've still got heaps. You got a couple of 72 kilo ones. Yeah, they're, they're fine. I've still got the issue though. My cows are still not producing any milk. I don't know what's up with that. Because... Brandon had 12,000 litres when I first checked him and now he's up to 14,000. And I've still got zero. Like, see? Zero. So his are producing milk and mine aren't, and I'm not really sure why. It's kind of got me beat. Yeah, but doesn't that run out? I thought that ran out, Brandon. I mean, I could be wrong. I'm just a... I'm a noob to the whole seasons thing. You know? Make them happier how? I mean, <laughs> they should already be happy. I mean, I could just not feed them at all and make them, you know, happy, I guess. Tell them that they should have been grateful for what they got, you know. Why did we just stop? That's interesting. The tractor just came to a halt. Mechanical issue, you know. Hmm. 
Mm, the water pump? Is that a mod? Do we have it? That's what Brandon will say to me next. We already have it in the server and I'll be like, oh. Yeah, I mean, mine need a little bit of water, but they're just not producing milk, and I'm not really sure why. Yeah, I don't think we do either. <laughs> but you never know. Tom, Seasons comes with a water pump. See, Bash, we were just proven wrong, okay? <laughs> and you scared the shot out of me. I didn't even hear you join. Because <laughs> when I'm streaming, that's try it's on mute. Um, what section is it in? Animals, is it? Yeah, it's under animals. I don't see a pump in animals. Uh, placeables. Ah, oh, placeables, hang on. Animal pens? No, it'd be miscellaneous or something, would it? The good old sinking coming. Yeah, I just gave your cows a bale of straw and... A bale of hay, that was all I gave them. Good. It was enough to them keep them going, going anyway. <laughs> so I've re sown, I got, like you know, I ploughed and re sown the grass. And I've skipped, yeah. I sk I've skipped maybe three in game days, and it's still, I think it's on its last growth stage. So it's already taking longer to grow. So that's looking like an improvement. It's good. Because when I mowed it earlier before I re sowed it, it was um, growing back within like six hours. Wow, that's quick. Yeah, so I think we fixed that. It just means I've got to plow the rest of them. Yep. Synchronizing data with other players. Still debating whether to buy a horse. I don't think you buy uh, horses anymore. There's the water pump. There it is. So that oh, will keep I just, so your water see. level at 15% or something. It doesn't fill it all the way up, though. I might look into that because it's only five grand, actually. I think we can just scrape that into the budget. Yeah, so you just place it near the water trough, and it should keep it at 15% water at all times. I can definitely afford it. Actually, I'll sell the water trailer and, you know, be done with that, you know? Always an option. Yeah, I didn't know it was in Seasons. I just thought it was a mod as well that you had to come separate, Bash. Brandon's onto it, okay? He's the expert. The weeds are already more um, realistic in these couple of grass paddocks. This is the only paddock that has weeds, but it's more in just tiny little Body. spots. Yeah. Which is nice. Now, this is going to be the issue. Because I have like a 30 meter spray unit, and then we have a power pole here. So this could be fun. Very fun. I think that patch of grass just won't get sprayed. Because we won't get around it. <laughs> I 
But we're killing the weeds and that's the main thing. I just hit a tree so that's always good. To be honest, I just skim read it, read it as quick as I could, and you know, that's me though. Um, I tend to read too fast on most things and just try and absorb as much info as I can and miss a lot of things at the same time. Yeah, I definitely read almost everything. I figured you would have. One paddock to go. I'm gonna try and start planting some stuff though today because the temp's five degrees, which is good. Good for most of the crops anyway. Yeah, it's time to start planting. Yep. You're gonna plant some stuff as well, are you? Yeah. What are you thinking of planting? Um, I think I got some oats that I can plant. Yeah, I'd kind of... Okay, Dan, I've kind of thought about... I was thinking I might just do some wheat. I don't know, I went through and set up a couple crop rotations that I'm gonna try and use. I'm gonna see what happens. What the hell is this fallow crap? Uh, fallow just means empty. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about planting some wheat and some sugar beet, to be honest. Because today, all of today is meant to be cloudy, and then tomorrow is meant to be sunny, and then Wednesday is meant to rain. And then Friday's meant to rain as well. Oh, good. So, no. so really we have like two days to get some stuff in the ground. I was on before you sped up time, and I think Friday it was showing snow on the forecast, which was a little scary. It did say snow for Thursday, <laughs> but the snow is gone now. It just says clouds, which is really good because I I'm not a fan of the snow. I'm getting a headache from all the work I need to do on my farm. I mean, it's a busy time, Bash. Very busy. It is. So, is the rotation... Oh, yeah, rotation goes downward. Okay, rotation... Yeah, downwards. So, there's four rotation. So, I might do for paddock... I might do wheat and then the next rotation do a... A note or something. I don't know. I have thought about doing a paddock of potatoes, but the paddock, the paddocks are all pretty big. I don't want to do a big paddock. And I've got oats, sunflowers, soybeans, and canola for the first year to yeah. plant. I don't even know if I'll use the rotation. I'll just plant what I want. I've got no weeds in this paddock, but I figured I might as well just spray it. Because they probably will end up with some anyway. Yeah, I think everyone's going to be a bit busy on the farm, Vash. Everyone will be kind of keen to get some stuff in the ground, I think. Uh, 
I think you'll have plenty of time, dude. It's mid-spring, so it'll be getting warmer and warmer. The weather will get better and better, probably. Yeah, the only thing you can plant right now is, like, wheat and barley. Yeah. Anyways. Yep. Oh, and canola. And sugar beet. Yep. Nothing wrong with a good sugar beet crop. Not for everyone, but I don't mind doing it. You still have like 15 fields to plow on lime. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not plowing. I refuse. If I'm plowing, oh, I'll only use Brandon's plow. That's the only way I'll <laughs> plow. I think that's the only way most of us will plow. Turn this machine. I actually might leave the sprayer on this actually. Because I want to spray and then plow and everything those other grass paddocks. There's definitely something in this area killing my frames. I don't know what it is. I think it's one of them sheds there. You saw my new 7R, Brandon? Uh, I saw the picture of it you posted. Yeah, I sold the 6R and bought a 7 because the... Uh, I can't remember who it is, I think it's custom modding or something. It's doing an American version of the 7R which I'll put in the server and then I'll buy that. So I was like, I might as well just get the 7R and then I can just switch them out. Because he's making it look a lot better and it has the better... And he's actually also adding a front end loader option to the 7 too. Oh, that'll be nice to have. Yeah. I just prefer the American looking versions. Because that's mainly what we have here as well, though. It's probably the same for you. We'll park that there. Crop do we want to plant is the question. Wheat, barley, canola, potato, sugar beet, poplar, I don't want that. I think we'll do a paddock of wheat, maybe two paddocks of wheat. And I'll probably do a couple of paddocks of sugar beet. Like the clouds just rolled in and it got a bit darker. Oh, it's been cloudy like the whole time.
Did you watch Dagwin's new video? Uh, his survival roleplay? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of laughing at that Simon guy putting a mower that size on that little Fiat, to be honest. Yeah, it was a little strange. I, I would have gave him a medal for the dumbest ideas, but anyway. <laughs> he has this massive Fiat that puts the mower on a tiny ass little thing that's two wheel drive. Well, he didn't want to use this big Fiat. Maybe it was out of gas or something. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's just too bob short of a brain. Yeah, I did debate whether to get the ADAR, but I... I don't know. I couldn't really afford the ADAR. And it was a little big for me. I don't quite need something that size. Oh, I like my ADAR. Yep. Screw you, Jewel Wills. <laughs> Screw <laughs> you. I completely forgot that had jewels on it. It's like there was plenty of room there, no. No, there's not. No. Not for what you're driving. Oh, I could do corn. I actually enjoyed the corn paddocks I did the other day. I could do that. I could go do corn here for one rotation and then sugar beat the next. Um. We'll do sugar beet first. You sewing as well? Uh, I will be after I take care of a couple of things. Don't need to lime, so that's all good. I'm gonna clean up the cows a little bit. Is that... Is that new? What's that? Since when does it sew like that? What are you sewing? Sugar bee, but it's left a texture that's not... Okay, maybe that's just how it does it now. Okay. Um, we'll just roll with that, I guess. For now. Go, in, go into the map and see what it painted for the texture for that. Like, on the map itself. You know what I'm talking about? Mm, it says it's planting sugar bee. Yeah, but what stage is it planting it at? I'm just curious. Ready to harvest. What the fuck? Oh no, planted maybe. No, it's planted. And then, so if I get rid right. of planted, cultivated, harvested... So if it's planted, I guess you're good. Doesn't say it's they growing though. some textures around. I don't know. That's interesting. No, it said it was planted, didn't it? Yeah, it said it was planted, but um, it doesn't come up with growing. Right, because it so it's got to make it out of the planted state, and it'll either go to growing or oh, the germination oh, okay. failed. Okay, that makes sense. I understand. To a degree. You'll get there. Brandon probably needs his plow back. Well, I didn't steal it, so... J 
Jeremy still needs to fix that police car that he's flipped. He flipped and left hanging. Yeah. Are you still in the stream, Brandon? Yeah. Oh, you can see what Bash is saying anyway, then. Mm hmm Yeah, no, I'll, if I need my plow, I'll steal it back. Don't worry. I can just switch to your farm and take it. I don't even think I have contractor access either, so... <laughs> it is what it is, you know? Yeah. We'll just have to call the police. The engine sounds on it doesn't sound very loud. Could because I zoomed out a bit as well. Yeah, they probably are still trying to figure out how their cruiser ended up on its side, because I'm still confused about it, myself. Well, they're investigating. Yeah. They're investigating. Well, I mean, I, I'm more than happy to point them now. in the right direction, you know. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to actually just drive them personally down to the... down to the problem. The guilty party? Yeah. I love how that straw blower you have can only fit one bale, but it looks like it could fit like eight of them in it. Which one? That straw blower you have. The yeah, coon. It can fit more than one. Well, in the shop it says only one. Well, yeah, it's the shop, but... If you actually start loading bales in it, you can fit quite a few. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it could fit a few. I'm just going by the false advertisement of the shop then. Yes. I should no, I sue them, just, you know? The shop just says you can feed out one bale at a time. Well, they should be sued for false advertisement. Might ring the police. I think I'm going to need some more seed. I don't actually think I have any more seed. So rest in peace to tell that.
It is nice seeing the temperature at 13 degrees though. It's a bit warmer than 4 and whatever it was previously. Yeah, she was a little cold there for a while. <laughs> yeah. We just need to get rid of the snow from the shop and up my driveway. Is it at the shop and your driveway? Yeah, it's where Jeremy plowed. I was hoping to have enough seed, but I won't. That's a bugger. So I'll have to go and get the ute. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Not what I wanted. Might check the shed, I might actually have some seeds, maybe. Pretty sure I don't though. Pretty sure it's a no no. Okay, this driveway here is just really frustrating. Really? What are you running into? The fence? Yep. And apparently we're, we're just stuck, you know? Good. This is ridiculous. So good news is there should be a fix out for that bad texture on the F-250. Good. Good. That's something I really want fixed. Yeah, so they're fixing that, and then they're also adding an attachment for the front of it to attach a snowplow, which could be cool. That's what I say, you know. Well. That was a big rip, I agree. It was a bit sad that we got stuck on a, a fence. I don't believe we have any seeds here, so I think we'll have to go to the shop. Yep. We're going for a cruise. How unlucky. <laughs> If I was the pedestrians of this town, I'd get out of the way. We're we gonna have more casualties. Because I'm coming through. There will only be casualties if they get in the way. 
If they stay out of the way, they'll survive. So far, so good. I'm hoping there's an update for this map to fix the trees that are, look like a heap of tin is just all over them. Yes. Because they look a little jank. But at least the other trees are getting some green on them. Doesn't look so dead. Yeah, the rest of the map has livened up a lot in terms of that, hasn't it? Yes. Alright. Shop tractor, we need to borrow that. The shop tractor used to have forks. They're probably around there somewhere. Um, 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 whose lime bags are those? Are they yours, Vash? Okay, where, where are the shop forks? They had forks, I'm positive. It did. I'm pretty sure they were black, weren't they? Yes. That's the grain meal. They're not here. That's weird. Where are the shop forks? Oh, no, they're here some- oh god. They are here somewhere? I don't oh, they're them. right here. Wait. They're right here. Next to this tire. They're like in the tire over here, this trailer. Well, who the hell them? took them off? I don't even know why they're not even on the tractor, to be honest. I'm glad you saw. Did you look at the map or something? Yeah, I checked the map. To yeah, see if I, I was just about out. to do that when you yelled that you could see them. I don't know why they're there though. That's interesting. That's just jolly good, you know. That is. Um, Two thousand seeds. I think we can get more seeds in a pallet. Yeah, 2100. I, I don't know how they got there either, Bash. I'm, I'm not even sure why they were off the tractor in the first place, to be honest. That might be another one for the police to investigate. For a small town, the police here are pretty busy. I know, for a small town there's a fair bit of crime if you ask me. If we put salt on that snow that's there, will that get rid of that? Maybe. Because it just looks really out of place considering there's no snow anywhere else. Maybe I should have brought the trailer. Maybe. Oh god, hello. Sorry, I'm shopping. I had one of them that you could have borrowed, you know. And then again, I think you've got more money than me anyway, so... Yeah, I still have some funds to work with. Yeah, I think a trailer would have helped you out a lot. 
Yeah, I might just have to leave the tailgate down. I did debate the trailer when I saw it in the shed, but I was like, no, nah, it should be right. <laughs> Someone's been using the shop charger a little bit, actually. It's got nearly two hours on it. I've used it to load a bunch of lime. Yeah, I use it every now and again when I come down here. have our seeds we are now good to get back into the farming that we were trying to do <sighs> beautiful having a bit of an issue there no I'm gonna try and get rid of the snow oh. I have a few ideas okay I'm assuming it's actually meant to, like, melt away. It is. Don't cross that road, don't... Blind prick. He's lucky, he could have died, that guy. Not gonna lie. What's one more investigation? <laughs> What's one more crime? Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine being the cops in this town. I think I'm speeding through the town anyway. Actually, 50 k's per hour is realistic in Australia for a town. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really keen for the update that you were just talking about for the ute, though, to get rid of the metal, the bare metal. Yeah, to get rid of the, well, it instantly bare metaling. Yeah, because as soon as you buy it, it's like a... It's the same for the cruiser as well, isn't it? Yeah. John Deere. I 
I streamed some project cars yesterday. Oh, why is it doing cotton, this stupid fucking machine? Because you pressed the button to change it to cotton? No, I didn't. Not that I... Well, apart from the pedals and the... To lower and stuff, no. Stupid fucking thing. Well... Well, at least I noticed before I did a whole entire paddock. Yeah, that would have been bad. I mean, I'm certainly not happy at the moment, but... I can't just directly seed over that either. That's really annoying. No, you gotta... That's very annoying. Yeah, I'm struggling to get over 30 frames. I don't know what's up with that. Are you having the same issue? Yeah, I'm sitting at just over 30 frames. I'm wondering if it's the amount of farms on the farm, like on the map, or I just don't know really what the issue would be. No, it usually... So it doesn't really matter where I look. There's, it has to probably do with some placeable or somebody's like modded tractor. Is usually what causes that. I think I've only got the one modded tractor. There's also a chance it could just be those screwed up trees. Yeah, that's true as well. Because there's been more, it's happened a lot more since seasons went in, so you're probably actually on the money there. Hopefully it'll get an update soon and see if that resolves some of the issue. Yeah. Or we just go around and cut down all those trees. There's an idea. Bash, you're the lumberjack. So didn't they just release a mod that instantly deletes trees, pretty much? I don't know, I haven't really looked at the mods because I've kind of been a bit sick of it because they aren't really releasing anything decent. Stuff that I'm not really interested in. Yeah, there hasn't been a whole lot coming out. Nope. Which is kind of unfortunate. Well, there goes some wasted seed. It's very frustrating. Lucky this cultivator is wide enough to get it all done.
All right, sugar beet, we'll try again. Make sure you're planting the right stuff. We've turned it on. I mean, if you watch the stream, I clearly put it onto sugar beet. Well, I'm pretty sure I did. Well, obviously it was on sugar beet when you were planting the rest of that paddock. Yeah, exactly. The game just wanted to waste a couple of hundred of my dollars and however long of my time. But at least it was only a strip and it was easily fixed. Because it certainly could have been a lot worse. Could have been the whole paddock. Exactly. Then we wouldn't see you on here for like another week. Yeah. Yeah. That probably would have been enough to, <laughs> to make me quit for a long time. Could also be the towns on this map as well. I mean, there's a lot of detail in this map. There is. Which is cool. Yeah, I agree. Like, all the little houses have interiors. That's one paddock down. So to plant corn, we need it to be 10 degrees, okay? Yeah. I would have thought oil seed radish would have been like three degrees requirement like grass to be honest because it's literally just a fertilizer crop yeah I don't know apparently not apparently not at all I'm just gonna plant the same paddocks I had as um sugar beet last last round see it's gone back to cotton now that I've lifted it up and all that too I don't know why it keeps just changing on its own you have like a key double map somehow? I don't believe so because I've never had it happen before. Man, Jeez. The only explanation I got. It has to be 18 degrees to plant cotton. So that would have died anyway, what I planted. <laughs> well, if you look, this like seasonal setup doesn't, you can't even plant cotton at all. Yeah. I'm debating whether to do another paddock of sugar beet because. Just for the pure time factor, it's a it's a big harvest. It is. Which took like six hours or so the last time we did it. We did get over two hundred and fifty thousand liters of sugar beet though. Damn. Yeah. That's I think I'll decent. Just, it it was decent. I think I'll just do one one sugar beet. Soybeans has to be 10 degrees. I kind of wanted to do some corn, but temperature is not good. It's probably more a summer crop. Yeah, if you look, we can't even start planting corn and soybeans till late spring. So that's all right. Go and plant some wheat.
Are your cows reproducing as well? Negative. Yeah, mine aren't either. I, I don't know why they're not making milk though. Because if yours are, then mine should be. You know, I have my next animal in is just blank right now. I'm wondering if I sell all my cows, but then... Probably just going to have the I same did, thing happen if I... I did buy a couple male cows, just for the hell of it. Yeah. I know, but I also have a different breed of cattle than you. Yeah, I have the Holsteins, which are, like, really good milk machines, so... And they're, like, the dearest cow in there. Yeah, so I don't know. Did you see that it'll now tell you approximately how much food you're going to need from for a whole year? Yep. It's kind of cool. I said to it, I'll give them what I want, and if it's not enough, then that's their problem, <laughs> you know? So, 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 so. Oh, I forgot that Muppet of a worker didn't cultivate 12 properly, so I have to do that. <laughs> How did he miss that part? I I don't even know, and it's literally on a straight as well. Which is funny, because I've set workers off on some of the paddocks that have the power poles in them. Yep. And, and they've done the entire thing, no problem. Yeah. Which surprised the hell out of me. They're, they're a little bonkers, if I'm honest. Have you started planting yet? No, I'm getting a layer of manure down. Oh, yes, yes. Since we can now fertilize three times. So, make sure we maximize the yields. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you actually use that rotation planner properly, you can get a bonus layer of fertilizer without actually having to fertilize if you do the right crops in the right order. I see. Pro tip. So literally the rotation plan is trying to be my manager. It's trying to help you out a little bit to give you a bonus yield without having to do any extra work. Next thing you want is to be paid. Well... It'd be cool if you could put paddock numbers in that rotation. Yeah. But I think you just gotta keep track of that on your own. Yeah. I would say so, and I've got more than four paddocks, so they're gonna have to extend it to 50 paddocks, because <laughs> I have quite a lot. This is why I just put together a spreadsheet to keep track of everything. Oh, a bit of Microsoft Excel, huh? Yep. yep. Look at you, realistic farmer over there. <laughs> it's probably got a whole filing cabinet. Dating back two years. No, just one file for this one map. Oh, okay.
Yeah, on your few days off, I had to upgrade my cedar. Yeah, so you got big boy over there. We got an extra three meter wide. We did. It was also frustration because of the grass issue that I had as well, and I just wanted it planted quickly. Just wanted it done. Yeah. And I figured nine meters is, you know, it's, it's an okay size. I didn't want 12 meters or something. It's just too big. You know, that's a nice cedar you got there. I could probably take the jewels off the Johnny at the moment, but I won't. We'll keep her looking beastie for now. I was going to try and get on OCRP, but I just don't know. Did you try and get on last night? I saw you playing 5M popped up a couple times. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> I, I joined Justin and I tried to get on like maybe six times or something and it just wasn't having it, so I called it a quit. I Which was popping up. I was very frustrated, to be honest, last night because I left work actually early to actually get on there while there were still 20 people and just couldn't get on. It was actually yeah, first I was shocked to see your name pop up at that time. Yeah. yeah when I, I saw it pop up for the same game like five times, so I was like, oh, he must be pissed. Oh, the tractor broke down, and I was pissed off with work, and I was pretty much ready to quit, and then I saw there was still like heap of people on the service, so I was like, well, I'm knocking off, and I'm going home. And then that <laughs> wouldn't work, so I ended up rage quitting and just getting off for a bit. And then I ended up getting on and playing some Siege with Sahil. And then I went and streamed Project Cars. Not bad. And funny enough, I didn't come first. No first place? No, I did 25 laps instead of 10. Oh. And um, I upped the difficulty of the... Um, Drivers a little bit? Yeah, upped them a little bit. What a terrible day, yeah. It was it was horrible, Dan. And um, so I upped them a little bit and... I got a shocking qualifying round as well. I thought I did okay, but I, I, my grid position was 27th, which is last place. So that was just fantastic. And you're like me out there. Yeah, yep. And then I worked my way to 16th, and then I had to pit. Mandatory pit stop, and because of the yeah. extra few laps, I had to fill up the car because we were down to like 15 litres or something. So we were in pit row for a little bit. And I think by the time I got out of pit lane, I was 25th or 24th. And back by the back. end of the race, I got back to 21st. And I had, there was two cars, like I was hard on two cars' asses, but I just didn't have enough laps to get them. And I was driving quite aggressively that I hit the wall every now and again, just trying to push really hard, but, you know, that happens. Oh yeah, I know. I take out the wall quite often. Yeah, yep. And not to mention my hand was getting quite slippery because I was <laughs> using a controller. That's probably the worst thing, to be honest. Your hand just gets very sweaty after a while. Too much concentrating. Yeah. That was a good race. Definitely play it again. So he reckons he wants to play with me, but he every time I ask him, he says no because he's tired or something. I think he just doesn't want to race me because he's worried he might lose. That's what I think. He doesn't want to look bad. Yeah, he's, you know exactly. I, I honestly think he's scared. There's definitely the possibility of that. Oh, he's definitely scared. I would be.
try and straighten this corner up a bit. This is going to be a big paddock of wheat, if fertilised correctly. I did corn in this paddock last time. Nice. I know yeah, you and I harvested cool. it together, the original crop that was in here when we first came to the map. I then planted yeah. corn and then I ended up rushing to do that because seasons was about to come in <laughs> so um bash and i, I get everything and reset. thomas had to i ended up just doing um chaff and putting it in the silage bunker that's not bad i think we ended up with like seven hundred thousand liters out of the two corn paddocks i had well that'll be profitable yeah at some point well, i got to use the forage harvest so that was good yeah also takes things a long time to ferment now. Yeah. Yes, it does. I had a straw bale that was sitting outside the dairy, but I, I, I don't remember using it, but I might have, but I have a feeling it might have rotted away, actually. I just don't know if it would rot away in spring, but... If it rained... Not that, that would be the thing that would cause it to rot. It hasn't rained that I'm aware of, but I'm not on the server all the time either, so it could have. It didn't rain any of the time I was on. I think we're going to need some more seed down here as well, chat. Plus, I have a straw bale sitting out in the middle of one of my paddocks, and it's still there. Yeah, I might have used it all, but I can't it. remember. I'd like to do this in first person, but it's just too scary. Even with the adjustable mirrors and stuff? Yep. I have. It helps with some tractors. Not that one? I mean, first person, you can't even see the outside mirrors. Unless you t tilt the camera. Oh, that, that's good. Oh, lovely. to get it running on three monitors. <laughs> I mean, I could potentially do that, to be honest. I don't know I how. I did that with 17 for a little while. You did? kind of nice. Yeah. How do you even do it? It must be in the settings um, or something, is it? Yeah, like, you have to go into one of the NVIDIA programs and set it up to display on all three. Oh god, I don't monitor. know if I could look at three mo uh, I mean, I could if it was like each monitor had a mirror or something on it, I could probably do it. Well, yeah, so you just think like your center monitor will show the same thing it does right now and it just gives you more to look at on the other two. Yeah. So you could literally just stare at the front one. The only thing is it would move if you had the mini map up all the way to the you know, your left monitor and your speedo would be all the way on the right one. Yeah, I never have the mini map up anyway, really, but... I might look into it, it could be cool. Could be interesting to stream, though. Yeah, I don't know how that would work, but... Back at the park, Vash.
Yeah, I'm still thinking about track IR, but I don't know. I'm trying not to spend yeah, any money. Yeah, I've always debated that one. There's kind of a lot of things I kind of want right now. Also debated the full VR setup. Hmm. I kind of, I kind of want a new steering wheel so that I can play it on a broader range of games because it's kind of frustrating this one not being compatible with project cars. Um, I want my own house. <laughs> um, <laughs> I. Oh, that's that's I could, a big one right I there. I kind of want a new. Mo I kind of want a fourth monitor. Um, yeah, there's just a few things that I kind of want. <laughs> This John Deere pulls this sewing machine like it's nothing. The seven R's are powerful. Yeah, it's like a 270 horsepower requirement for the sewer, but I mean the tractor is 350, but just... Uh, what are you talking about, Bash? Are you talking about IR or... Tra um, just VR, or what are you talking about? Because I we mumbled so much stuff out there that I just don't know. <laughs> I guess it would be track IR, but we're gonna run out of seeds. That's a bugger. Track IR. Mm-hmm. Brandon was on the money. Got to run up the road again just to get the ute. Also, if we're talking about new stuff, I mean, this computer's really good and all that, but I mean, you know, there was the money and, you know. How old is your computer, Tom? Like a year old. Oh God, come on. Yeah, we could do with a bit of an upgrade. I think you're fine. You know, just get a, a better graphics card and all that and just... Fully new system, It'd be lovely. <laughs> what, Dan? It's, it's true though. My PC is... Mostly uh, almost five years old now. Yeah, that's too old. I would have traded that out by now. <laughs> Still does just fine. Built it to last. You mainly use it for trucking, Bash? Yeah. Well, I well I don't know if you can do it in America, but the the tech shop here called Harvey Norman, I can flex your rent, so every couple of years I can just get a new computer. So that's kind of what I do. But it just means yeah, I can't, oh, like I can't put a, a bigger graphics card, or I can't put. See, another... I build, I build my own, so I've upgraded the graphics card on the computer that I have, and a couple other things before. Brandon, you know me very well. Do I look like someone <laughs> who could build a fucking computer? Let's be honest. Oh my god, it's like putting Legos together. It's not that. Hard. I was never that good at putting Legos together. I was oh very god. good at breaking it. Actually, no, I was, I was okay at putting, um, I was okay at putting Legos together, but I, ne I couldn't follow instructions, I just put stuff together how I wanted. Well, thankfully for computers, they only go together really one way. Yeah, one way, and if I don't do it the right way, it's fucked. Well, no, you just, you can't do it the wrong way. Hmm. Right. It's a lot of money, you know. True. Alright, I've 
I've used all my seeds that I brought. It's officially all in the sewing machine. Alright, we're definitely on wheat, so we should be good. Seven R is eating up the farm work. That's another thing the modded version gets rid of those stupid silver things in the dual wheels. I don't know why farming sim put them in there. I've never seen a tractor with them. Silver things. Inside the wheel art, like, I don't know if it's a thing in Europe, but I certainly don't see that here. Like between the two wheels itself? See, no, see these things? I don't know if they're like balances or what they are meant to be, but not a fan. I don't know. I don't see much farm equipment on a daily basis, so. You don't what? I don't see much farming equipment on a daily basis. Yeah. I don't know what it would look like. Well, I just know that I don't see them here, so, where I live, so. What are we talking about, Bash? You're putting a computer together. Because that's above my pay grade. Yes, it's time about putting a computer together because you can fry it with static electricity. See? Well, know. then that's probably what I would do. <laughs> that's another reason not to do it. But to combat that, you just buy a little thing that you put on your wrist, and all of a sudden that's not a problem. So we spend more money, is, is what you're saying. It costs like two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and you can use it for every computer build you do in the future. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which for you, once every year, you get your money's worth quickly. <laughs> i tell you what, if I built it, I wouldn't be doing it every year, because nope. Maybe in the future I might attempt to build my own, but not now. It's fun. I like, I, when I want something, I like it, you know, I like it ready to be done and ready to go and everything when, when <laughs> just, I want. Just hand it to you. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of other new things as well, I want work to get me a new trap. Oh, that'd be nice. Because the Deutz caught on fire on Friday, but um, the fucking Jeez. thing unfortunately didn't burn, which was disappointing. Did it, does, does it put itself out or something? Yes. It was very annoying. Well, that's unfortunate. It, it was very unfortunate. I was very annoyed. <laughs> I left it out of the bonnet. Actually, no. I saw all the smoke coming out of under the hood, and I was like, "Oh, where's my fire extinguisher?" <laughs> and I don't know where the fire extinguisher in my tractor is gone, but it's not there anymore. And I was like, "Well, that's that's good." So I got out and I lifted out the bonnet. And I was like, "Hmm, hopefully you'll burn, bitch." And I waited, and all the smoke just disappeared. And I was like, "Really?" And then about an hour later, we tried to start it again because it wouldn't start. And then it finally started. And then the mechanic came down to look at it, and he couldn't even find the issue with it. So that was frustrating. Well, maybe it'll catch on fire and actually burn next time. I hope so. so you can get stuck with one of those Chinese tractors you hate? I honestly thought yesterday was going to be that day. Well, I mean, I don't think I will get a Chinese trader, to be honest. I mean, it's a possibility, but I don't think I will. Because what I do... I haven't really seen a Chinese trader big enough to do what I do. Ah. Uh.
But if I was to get a new tractor, I mean, uh, there's three brands that I wouldn't mind. Either a John Deere, a Massey Ferguson, or a Class. So the three that you always buy in farming sim. Yeah. And I have my reasons for the class. Re the class reason is I like class and their fully automatic transmission. Uh, the reason for the John Deere is John Deere is my favourite tractor. Um, but I don't. I prefer the class how it has an automatic transmission, unlike the John Deere. And then the Massey. I like Massey's in as automatic as well. You know. Sounds solid enough. Yeah, they're, they're my reasons. I mean, if you get a really expensive and big John Deere, you get fully automatic, but... I would but only get... probably it. too big and too expensive? Yeah, I would only get a 6M, which is... Um, the inner gears are automatic, but the range gears are manual. And the sewing is complete for another day, you know. I'm very excited for the class DLC. That's gonna be great. I kind of would like it now, though. What John Deere isn't expensive? Uh, I mean, that's true. Little Gator side by sides. I mean, ultimately, you're buying for the you're buying the brand name. Yes, very much so. But I mean, I can't speak for everyone and like everyone who's had a John Deere. But from every John Deere I've driven and seen and had at work, very little issues and trouble with them at all. They're probably the most reliable tractor I've seen and had. So, to pay that bit of extra money for the brand, then, I mean, seems like money well spent in my opinion. Mind you, class is starting to get very expensive, though. Well, they're also becoming, you know... A lot more well-known. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they've upped their prices and... They put out some nice equipment, it looks like. Yes. They're becoming, they're becoming quite a big brand. Which is good for them, you know? Did I bring the ute back? I thought I left the ute in the paddock. I can't remember. Who knows? So the cows need some hand silage. I should order, order some dominoes as well, you know? wonder if I have much slurry. 4,000 litres. That'd be cool to be able to buy that as well, actually. Yeah. Especially since if you put straw in, your cows won't produce it anymore. If you put what? If you put straw in on the ground to make manure, your cows won't make slurry. If you don't put any straw in, you won't get any manure, but you'll get slurry. I mean, I could probably stop putting straw in then, because technically I'm just going buy manure from the plant you know yeah geez we came way too fast up that that's up at 64 right the shop put in the manure stuff yeah I think it's 64 right. let me have a look 
Where am I? Well, shop, yeah, 64. Field, yeah. So. And there's actually a truck down there, so you can just get it loaded and dropped off at your place. The shop truck's down there with a tipper. The shop yeah, thought of everyone, you know, when they put that there. Now, the real question is, did the shop buy, like, a wheel loader or something? Uh, they haven't, but I I was on... We had a board <laughs> meeting the other day, actually, and <laughs> and the uh, the shop was actually contemplating whether to get a wheel loader. Yeah. So I, I, will, I will divulge that information that the shop <laughs> and the board is currently, you know... Uh, Thinking about it? Yeah, they are potentially buying out a... Um, a wheel loader for the rest of the community to use if they need it. And the shop. So it, it's very, very interesting that you brought that up, Brandon. Yes. <laughs> the issue I'm having with the cows is they don't take as much food as they used to. And... Once I load up the mixer with some silage, it only uses like half the bale, so then the rest of the bale has to sit in there and then I have nothing to feed out with the, the straw with because I need a blower or something and I'm, I refuse to buy one. Well, you can always borrow mine. Do you know how far that is to drive, Brandon? Well, you know what, I was just uh, trying to be nice. I'm, I'm aware and, and we thank you, but... We might do that, you know? God forbid you have to put any effort in anything. It's, it's the fuel, okay? Use a lot of fuel. <laughs> oh, and if anyone was wondering, this is what I mean by gears in the John Deere. A, B, C, D, E, F. So each gear has, a, has four ranges. So it has one, two, three, four in each gear. On the 6M, anyway. And the only reason I prefer the automatic is just changing one of them gears is a pain in the ass when you're going up a hill with 8 ton of silage on the back. Because you pretty much come to a dead stop. <laughs> I currently have to drive a long way just to get a straw bale. So I probably could have just picked up your blower on the way, to be <laughs> honest. You know, I got all my bales nicely stacked right there next to my cows. Well, there's just no area around that dairy to put anything, like any of your placeables that you want. True. So I've put everything down near paddock 73. It just means I have to drive down to it. I did have one of those straw blowers that, there are only a couple of grand that go on the front of the front end loader, but they're so damn heavy. Like they're ridiculous. Because I know we have, straw. hey. The straw blower that came with the Anderson DLC isn't bad. Plus it's made for the round bales. Yeah, I did look at that actually. I'm talking about the... Yeah, you're talking about the ones that you get your front-end yeah, loader, front loader fork from. See, it's interesting. I don't know if there's a... If you could... F See, over here, we have, like, the hay buggy that goes on the back and you plug your hydraulics in. But then we also have one of those kind of ones instead of the trailer version that sits on the three-point linkage. It'd be cool if one of them could go on the linkage. Uh, did the pack that had these, um, like buckets and stuff that we modified, did that have something you could put on the back of a tractor? I mean, there's this, there's this like the BBU FK machinery thing. Yeah, there's a BBUN container for chopping bales that can be used to chop a bale and turn it into loose material. That doesn't really put. But does that fit on a... That goes on the front end loader, judging by those uh, 
linkages. It's 37 grand Trailer. for that trailer as well. That's the other reason why I was preferring just the small things because they're only 2,300. But I think there's a tool you can get to put on a three-point linkage that will connect to that tool if you wanted to do it that way. Under miscellaneous. Yeah, there's an adapter. Yeah, I'm looking at that as well. If you wanted that thing that mounts to the... You could probably mount it to the back that way. I should be able to mount the... um. The one that comes with the bail fork, technically, with that as well, I would have thought. So I think this will do from three point to like telehandler style stuff. I might just grab this straw bale and then I might head down there and investigate. Okay. Just options. Yeah, we'll investigate that. Thirteen and a half hours on the big Johnny. I just hit fourteen on my little Johnny. Well, I'm talking about my little Johnny, but I didn't want to give it, <laughs> you know, some kind of. Self-esteem issues, you know, by outing it like that. Well, the eight R's the big Johnny, and the six R's the little Johnny. Yeah, if you look at where I am now, okay this is that. where all my bales are. Oh, yeah. So nicely stacked. Yeah, well, I had to put these nice big sheds up and, to, you know, keep them, to keep them dry, you know? I can't have rotting, rotting food. How long did it take you to stack those? Uh, not long, because the shop also has a... was um, very high to contract a driver. I, like, I paid for a driver and the truck to come out and... It all got loaded up onto a truck and I could take two uh, bales at, at a time off and I just put them straight in, you know. Cost me a little bit of money, okay. but it was very quick and painless, you know. The, the shop is very, very considerate and more than willing to have, you know, help out anyone around here, so... I see that. But they're just great people. We're very lucky to be, you know, to live in a community like this, I think. Tight knit. Everybody helps out their neighbors most days. Well, sometimes. It depends on what neighbor you talk to. <laughs> the only thing with this yard is she's very tight. And then we have the snow issue here as well. Oh, I could just switch to the farm shop and test that my theory out with the because there's already a tractor up there, isn't there? The fend. Yeah, you could. Was that at the farm? Or let the shop test that for you and see if it's a viable option. Yeah, I'll just ring them up really quick. We'll just come down to the end of the road and I'll give them a quick call. All right, just rang the shop. They they said sure thing and. They're just unreal up there. <laughs> With their six million dollars, you know. Oh, and just as I come up to the shop as well, you know, the... I was just on the phone to the shop person. They actually did get a um, wheel loader. Apparently it arrived today. Um, look at that. So, yeah, exactly. Would you look at that? Unbelievable, right? It just... Just fantastic community. Oh, 
Oh, did I tell you about the MT9 tool that's in MISC as well for the seasons? Yeah, that you have to buy like every time. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. It's kind of frustrating. It's a cool little tool, but... Yeah, I'm not spending five grand every time though, I'll be broke. <laughs> yeah. It's asking a little much. Attaches front end loader, attach type three point. Yeah, I think that should be what we want. Yeah, three point. To, um, do they have a telehandler? The shop has a telehandler as well. I will also need just one of these to trial it. Ah, oh, because. The telehandler. Well, what's the SSL? The SSL. Skid steer loader, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll work. If you do the front end loader to that thing, you can mount it on the back. To the skid steer one. Well, no. So that attacher that you bought, and then the bell shredder for the front end loader? Yeah, no, I know. I was just trying to. I was. Didn't want the forks with it. That's why I was looking at a skid steer one. We'll just use the front. The front arms. Front linkage. Because if I can put this just on the back of the tractor, I'll just buy one of these because they're only two thousand dollars. Oh my goodness, I can do this. Yes, we are doing it. Yeah, that actually works. I'm kind of surprised, but it does. There you go, you have a straw blowing solution now. Yep. Good job, you know. Did you see what else had arrived at the shop? Just as I got in. Look at that thing. We got a wheel loader? Yeah. Coming handy. I'm sure one of them will take it down to the um the manure plant, you know. Oh, I'm sure. When they get time, of course. Well, chat, we're about to spend some money. Rest in peace to our money. How does that adapter cost twenty two hundred dollars? Is beyond me. Farm sim prices. Yeah, this bale shredder costs two and a half, not even two and a half grand. Uh, we've still got a bit of money, but yeah, rip, rip, ripperoni, you know. And we are bogged, apparently. How did you get stuck there? <laughs> Just uneven ground, I think. <laughs> I didn't have to put it in four-wheel drive, but we had to wheel spin a bit, and this bale was just going to decide it's going to try and fall off my forks. Nope. You just don't just slide off forks like that in real life, you know? But farm sim thinks I do. It's really annoying. It just looks so stupid. Pretty productive day on the farm, actually. Yeah. 
I saw Meadow Groves getting another update as well. Oh, is it? It's getting another season's update, and it's getting some more paddocks added to it, and yeah. Hmm. I'm fixing a couple more issues with it. He's changed all the grass textures as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll try and find the link and I'll show you some more photos of it. Like, the grass is a lot more greener than the in-game grass and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Doesn't look so dry. to the shop. I mean, if there is a tree mod, though, to get rid of those trees, like, instantly, I mean, we can look into it and see if it gets rid of some of this frame drop issue. Even if it reduces the problem by, you know, 10 frames or something, it's better than none. Yeah. I'll find it and post a link. Yeah. I mean, in, even if it doesn't, like, fix it or anything, we can just revert back to a previous save. It's already lunchtime. Get off the road. Or you will die. With a fork to the gut. Did you find it? I did. I was like, I just got a PM. I was like, oh. <laughs> did you end up putting salt on this snow? I haven't done anything with the snow. There's supposed to be a command you can use to remove the snow, but it didn't work. Hmm. We can look at it later, I guess. I'm not too fussed by it at the moment. Probably because I'm not down at the shop all the time. Yeah. A little bit of weight on the back of the Johnny. Yeah. 
you watching it bounce around a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a bit frustrating because it conflicts with the front end loader. That's okay. It is a solution. That it is. For some reason it's saying that's low. I guess it's doing its own thing. Wonder if I Lower that. No, keep that on. Can now have rear bail spikes. Maybe I need that bail spike. I think you need that bail spike. I was hoping I didn't. Luckily I have a spare one on the front anyway. But... Yeah, I'm gonna go with you needed that bail spike. Hang on, I'm not done trying. <laughs> Out of all, all right. the spots I could have done this, I'm doing it on the road. Well, hopefully the 5 -0 doesn't show up. You know what? Fuck the police. <laughs> you know? No one drives this road anyway. Okay. We... We did need that, unfortunately. I just figured that they would be connector arms like... That anyway, but anyway, obviously not. Jay-Z flipped one of the police cars. There's two. There is two of them though, that is correct. Nearly a dead pedestrian. Yeah, I feel like my frames are just getting worse as the time goes by. I don't know if it's just my computer or... No, I think... It's the same way.
put my dirty bales bike back on the front. Yeah, maybe set up a daily restart, yeah, Bash. But I mean, I restarted it before I got on, so I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's the grass. I think I think it could be those trees that Brandon's talked about. I think it's worth trying to get rid of them and seeing if that fixes the problem. lifted up. There. It's very bouncy on that rear adapter. I don't know how it's that flexible, but anyway. Because your three point linkage doesn't bounce, but okay. We'll just roll with that, I guess, for now. Because it is a solution to my problem. As long as it works. Exactly. And it's working. This makes me happy. Uh, 
Are they full? Full, full, full. Yes, they are. All right, the wheel loader is down by the manure itself. Point. Very nice. It's enjoying its new habitat then. Yes. But that adapter works quite nicely. If I do say so myself. It's good. It's a little it's not it's not the adapter's fault, but that that shredder shouldn't bounce like it does on the linkage though, but anyway. There's not much you can do about that one. Here's my other neat stack. Talking about neat things, you know. Ah, uh, some silage bales. Yeah. I'll drive into that very straight. I just least see Anderson bales stuck it to be honest for this. I was about that's what that looks like. And I'm just push push two together. This is how we stack them together a lot of like even hay we just leave out like this as well. It's a bit bumpy, that bit of lame weight. It also looks terrible in 20 frames. You're about to see my biggest issue that I've been having so far, though. What is that? Trying to get this tractor and trailer down that tiny ass. So you got to, like, try and turn hard right here. It'd be nice if that horse box wasn't there. And then you have the issues because the... The forks on the front catch everything. So then you've kind of got to nice. reverse down this alleyway. Come forward a little bit. Back up a little bit. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Good. Bit of effort to feed your cows, you know. And as a side note, if you use the wheel loader to buy manure, it charges the shop. <laughs> I don't think the board agreed to that. <laughs> just, just an FYI. I don't know if they'll be happy about that. So if I put this water pump, like how close does it have to be? Uh, just, I think, next to wherever the water goes. So, like, right in, like, next to the trigger somehow. I th oh, in the trigger. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Well, hmm? that might work. I'm, I'll leave it there and I'll see if that works. Well, how much water do they have right now? 
185 liters. Pretty much full. Oh, so that will only kick on if the water level gets below, like, I think it's 15% or something. Like 15% full. No, it doesn't even say. I thought it might have had a little bit of a, a read up about it. From what I read, it said uh, it'll keep it at 15%. Get out of the way, Bessie. She won't move. Oi, you feckin' stubborn bitch. Might have to go and grab the gun for this one. <laughs> I'm glad you can just go straight through them because she's just a bitch. Didn't want to move. She really didn't want to move. I just went down to 19 frames. Ooh, that's not good. Saying I have forage in my mixer, it's silage, okay? Huh. That's weird. It might be hard for you to comprehend that farming sim, but... is growing. Alright guys, that is going to do it for the stream though. I'm going to have some lunch and stuff. So we are going to raid Sahil. I think. Yeah, we'll raid the hill. He's streaming some OCRP, so I don't know. Don't show him any love, I guess. He's a he's a wanker, you know. But um, thanks everyone for hanging out, and I might stream a little bit later. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.